This conference will now be recorded. Hi, uh, good evening everyone. Uh, in this video, I will uh, teach you how to block a vendor uh, for a purchasing organization and what will be the impact. Okay, and uh, we, can we create a new purchase order for that vendor and material for that vendor and the purchasing organization combination? Or else can we do the goods received or can we create invoice receipt? Those things we are going to check out. As per SAP standard behavior, how how does it behave and that we are going to test it and we are going to know and first of all let me take a vendor okay i have taken a vendor called gkv1 and purchasing organization gpor okay. you can block for a specific purchasing organization otherwise for all the purchasing organization based on your requirement you can take a decision and uh, now i'm selecting for a self purchasing organization which is given on the screen okay and uh, if you see the block for quality reasons so this is this will be used when we activate a quality management otherwise it's not required for example if you click on f1 also we can see this see this function that will be blocked and the dependencies is a block for quality reasons applies only to those materials for which qm in procurement is active okay for example if you activate the quality management in procurement then you can use this uh, different block quality reasons Otherwise, uh, we select the block for the purchasing organization and then click on save. This conference will now be recorded. Okay, now we can see this uh, changes have been made. Uh, the purchasing, uh, the vendor is blocked for the respective purchasing organization. Now we will proceed with our testing. First, I'm going to create a purchase order. A new purchase order I'm going to create after the blocking the vendor. So I'm going to give the vendor purchasing organization, purchasing group, and the company code. See, once we have given the vendor and the purchasing organization, system is giving SAP standard error message. The vendor blocked for purchasing organization. So the master record for this vendor is blocked for processing for the specified purchasing organization so that you cannot create a new purchase order. So you cannot do any new procurement with the combination of this purchasing organization and vendor. So the first point is clear is we cannot create a new purchase order. The second one, we will uh, do the MIGO. Let's take any one open PO. Okay, we can uh, go to ME2N and uh, input the purchasing organization, plant, and vendor GKV1. And uh, we can give some document date to get the less number of open purchase orders and go to selection parameters and input the open goods receipt. So now I'm going to execute the report. So I got uh, different vendors, different open POs here. Let me take this PO and proceed with goods receipt. I came to MIGO and uh, I selected the option goods receipt business purchase order. And we have input the details and the locations, everything is given and click on item OK and click on checkbox. Let's see the behavior. So if you block the purchasing organization, whether system will allow you to do the goods received of old purchase orders. It means the open POs. Okay. Now we can post it. There are no error messages so that we will post it. So once you post the material document, the goods received document against the purchase order, that the system will allow. Yes, system has allowed you to post the goods received. So what we can conclude is, although we block the purchasing organization, although we block the vendor for specific purchasing organization, system will still allow you to do the goods received of pending POs. Okay. Let us uh, do the invoice receipt, pending invoice receipt. 
already we came to know this uh, when the mucus receipt is allowed system will uh, allow you to do the invoice receipt also anyway let us uh, finish it zero in zero five and twenty the so already we had done the goods receipt so that uh, the respective amount everything will come from here click on calculate tax and uh, Forty-four, eight forty, and click on simulate to get any other error messages. Otherwise, okay. Hope everything is fine so that we are able to see the post button. Click on post. If there are any error messages, we can see here the red color and this post button also will not be appear. So inverse receipt is posted. So let's conclude this one. Uh, what happens when you post? We can how to the impact, how to block. We have seen uh, block vendor per purchase organization. The code we have used is MK05 and one more point we can highlight which color could be better i think this background is looks bright but uh, it's fine it looks yellow color only looking better and uh, new purchase order cannot be created for the vendor after blocking so let's give this one Okay, let's get after blocking. Same way, goods receipts can be posted for the open purchase orders of that vendor under same purchase organization. okay now the second one will be invoice receipts invoice receipts can be posted for the open purchase orders of that vendor under same purchasing organization so what we can uh, see here is like this one slash and mk mk05 slash and mk05 so the purchase organization uh, we can uh, wherever we have blocked it but still we can utilize this and we can use the word purchasing they yeah, both are same let's use the same word of sap Okay, this is what we have tested now uh, we can create uh, we cannot create the new purchase order but we can post the goods receipts 
and we can post the invoice receipt although you block the vendor so what we can understand from the business perspective uh, the open POs we can still complete the activity but you cannot create a new purchase order to initiate the procurement process okay this is what uh, we can understand from here uh, so this is about the blocking of a vendor for a specific purchasing organization or uh, we can block for the all the purchasing organization and um, and also what we can do if you block for a, a purchasing organization then uh, you can post pending goods receipts and the invoice receipts and clear the uh, any kind of pending activities with that vendor if you want to proceed if you don't want to proceed anything then we can close the purchase order by keeping the delivery indicator and all so we can close the purchase order so that no more procurement uh, no more pending procurement so that the vendor cannot send you the goods and any when you purchase order system will not allow you to create it so this is about the concept of how to block the vendor for purchasing organization and what is the impact i hope uh, this uh, concept has given you that these points especially because in the recently uh, some of our people are asking that one because blocking vendor is a common topic many of our aware so that i never focused on this topic but when this impact concept has come okay then i felt that okay let's make a video on this concept i hope for uh, some people will definitely get a benefit out of this and uh, thanks for watching and thanks for your time and uh, check my other master data and purchasing videos you can just go to google and give ganesh purchasing or ganesh inventory management or ganesh invoice verification the same text wherever any sap topic you can give and uh, just add ganesh to that so that if it is really available in my youtube channel it will come to on the screen and then you can uh, use it okay just i will show you again if you just come to the google uh, you, you are in the home page for example and uh, go to google okay and uh, in the google home screen okay we can uh, just give that ganesh may not remember the padala ganesh sap mm invoice verification for example if you give this text in that way then you will get the video of my sap mm invoice verification complete videos by ganesh padala you can check my blog also it will come so you can any sap mm topic along with ganesh if you give in the google search you can get the relevant documents which are made by me so definitely it will be helpful for you and if you like the video don't hesitate to click like button and share with your friends and your uh, telegram or whatsapp groups so that it will be helpful for many people and uh, once again thanks for your support and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you will get notifications whenever i upload a new video have a good evening and take care bye for now